Hello everyone, hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make, use, and power the sawmill, which is the block, which is this block all the way over here, but we need to start with this. First I will show you how, first you need to make the engineer's hammer, which requires two iron, one string, and two sticks, and then you want to make the kiln brick which requires two bricks and two sandstone bricks so what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to take this and then you want to go place four kiln bricks like this and then you want to right click with the hammer and then boom you got the kiln oven or the kiln alloy smelter I believe it's called but anyway next thing you're gonna want to make is the machine chases which requires four iron four iron bars and one grain of infinity and you get grains of infinity by lighting bedrock on fire like this one of these pieces of bedrock will give me a, a grain of infinity and then when it does uh, I wish there was a way to speed this up it takes quite a while but uh, wait aha grain of infinity so that's how you get grains of infinity then you use all that stuff together to get the machine chases now and the next thing you're gonna want to make is a stone compound gear which requires four cobblestone and four sticks and then you want to use the two compound stone compound gears, one machine chases, two furnaces, three iron, and one bucket. And then you want to use that one, and then all together that gets you the alloy smelter, which is important for later on in the tutorial. But now, for now, the next thing you're going to want to make is the generator, which requires five cobblestone, one iron, and two uh, redstone, and one furnace. Now the next thing you're going to want to make is the saw blade for the saw mill. And that requires six iron and one copper ingot. And then you're going to go over here and you're going to want to make a copper, a couple cop copper gears. Which requires four copper per copper gear. And then you now the next thing you're going to want to make is a redstone reception coil. And now you get this by getting two gold and one redstone in a crafting table. And that gets you the redstone reception coil. Boom. All right. And whoops. Uh, there we go. Let me put that there. And let me just do that. And up that. And boom. Now the next thing you're going to want to make is the tin gear. Which requires four tin ingots already smelted like that as you can see. Now the next thing you're going to want to make is... Uh, the machine frame, which requires four iron ingots, four uh, quite clear glass, and one tin gear. Now, how do you make quite clear glass? You go all the way over here, you get some glass, and you throw one, two, eh, whatever amount you have. Uh, uh, all right, and then from there, it makes the ooh it's slow progress all right uh in the meantime we may as well just review everything take some uh screenshots there you go take some screenshots take some notes start taking notes everyone oh tons of grains of infinity all right and boom we don't need them right now and now we're gonna go over here and it should be done boom so that's how you get quite clear glass so now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use the quite clear glass tin gear for iron ingots to get the machine a frame. Now you're going to want to use the redstone reception coil for two copper gears, one redstone reception coil, two oak planks, one machine frame, and one saw blade. And that gets you the good old fashioned saw mill. All right. And boom. You see, oh, this thing's just powering up. And I'm just going to place that there and grab that there. Put uh, whoops, put that in there. Alright, now I'm gonna put that in there. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna make, oh, uh, this is in case you just wanna screenshot some crafting recipes, but, uh, that has nothing to do with the tutorial. I built that, and I'm not gonna use it. But now, the next thing you're gonna wanna craft up is some iron plates, which requires one engineer's hammer and one iron ingot. Now the engineer's hammer can be reused multiple times, uh, no, there, can be reused multiple times, for multiple things but now the next thing is you're gonna want to make is you're gonna want to use four iron plates one redstone one furnace two stone bricks and one iron block which will get you the blast furnace now the next thing you're gonna want to make is some bronze and you're gonna want to get four bronze to make one bronze gear now how do you get bronze you're gonna go all the way over here oh this looks almost done uh, boom and I'm just uh, sorry that's just a little side note but, uh, it's just a little side thing. Boom. And now that's how you get it out. But anyway, 
Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make some bronze with some copper and I believe tin. 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 Ingot. And I'm going to toss it in here and that will get us the bronze, I believe. <gasps> um, 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 um. All right, uh, that was accidental. That did not, that was not supposed to happen. All right, boom, boom, all right. And that's how we get bronze, like that. We get bronze by putting tin and copper in the same uh, blast furnace, but then uh, we use the bronze to make the bronze gear, and then we use the bronze gear and for Invar ingots, and we get the Invar ingots. Let me look it up, because I forgot. Uh, in var, it'll tell me right away in var ingot, and we get it through alloy kiln. Yeah, we get it through two iron and one nickel. Iron and any nickel, I believe. Wait, no, I believe it's in this chest. Iron and nickel, 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 nickel. And then we toss them in together, and then we take them out like this, and this, and this, and... Uh-oh, I did it the wrong way. All right. All right, no. Uh, oh, wait, I believe it requires multiple of one. All right. And boom, this will get us an invar ingot once this is done. And go away, rain. Go. All right, that gets us three invar ingots, which is a lot of invar. And then we go all the way over here, where, and now we have, we need four invar ingots. And we also need one bronze gear, two redstone, and that gets us the upgrade which is a hardened upgrade kit. And now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna make uh, copper plates with one engineer's hammer, one copper and one copper ingot, and that gets us a copper plate. Now we're gonna wanna make a redstone servo, which requires two redstone and one iron ingot. And then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna wanna use one tin gear, two copper plates, one redstone servo, and one bucket, and that will get us the augment resin fuel upgrade. And then the next thing we're going to want to craft is the Omnivoire, which which requires six uh, stained glass of any kind and two fused quartz in a cauldron. Now, here's how you make fused quartz. We go all the way over here, and we get hey, one, two, three, four, and then we toss it on up in here, and this will get us the fused quartz. Now, this takes fairly quickly... Like, compared to other things, this takes fairly quickly, and it's almost done. Should be done any second. Yeah, there it is. That gets us one fused quartz. Now, now we've gotten that taken care of. We've now got our fused quartz, and now we can make our Omnivoire. Now, the next thing we're going to want to make is the Yetta Wrench, which requires one stone compound gear and three electrical steel ingots. Now, you get the electrical steel ingots. From going all the way over here, electrical steel ingot. Electrical steel ingot. And that comes from the alloy smelter from smelting iron, silicon, and pulverized coal. Now, this requires silk touch to get the coal ore, because in order to do that, all we need to do is this and just spin, 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 spin for quite a while. Oh, come on. Uh, here, ah, now that gets us pulverized coal. Here, let me spin a bit more to show it to you. Yeah, it gets us pulverized coal. So, that's how we get pulverized coal. And now, we use the, whoops, we use pulverized coal. Uh, let me see that again. Iron and silicon, right. Iron and silicon. And we toss them all up in here. And we take that remaining out. And then... We take a look in here. Now this takes a snail's pace to complete, as you can see. This is really taking a snail's pace. 
All right, so do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, this is taking way too long. This better hurry up or else I'll be really mad. Come on, hurry up. Oh my goodness, now we finally got the electrical steel ingot. So now that we've got our upgrades taken care of, then now we only have like a couple things left to do. Now we made our yetter wrench, we need a slime ball to make pipe sealant like this. We put slime ball on a crafting table, it get, that gets us pipe sealant. Then we want to make a wooden fluid, a wooden transport pipe, which requires two oak planks and one glass. Then that gets us a wooden transport pipe. And then we want to take the wooden transport pipe, the pipe sealant, and to get the wooden fluid pipe. And then we go over here to a, here's a setup I already have going. Um, this looks full, alright, and that should be full, but anyway, now that we have crafted ourselves this, here's how we do it. We place the upgrade kit, then we put the resin fuel in, and boom, that gets us, that gets us this. And then in order to do anything with it, here let me show you this, this is already set up here. Uh, oh, this is full. This is full. Now, we get it out using a bucket. Bucket. And, uh-oh, we get uh, sap. That was sap. Um, sap. That was uh, sap. Uh, but it just came out. Uh, I was in creative mode and got the bucket, but that gets us sap. I did it before. That's how you get sap. In Minecraft with thermal expansion, tech guns, and immersive engineering. So, boom! That's how you do it. That, my friends, is how you make, use, and power and upgrade the sawmill. Or that's just how you upgrade stuff in thermal expansion anyway. But, anyway, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you out with your problem you were having in thermal expansion of your upgrading. Because... All you need to do is make the hardened upgrade kit. Uh, click like uh, that. Uh, no, not shift. It's already done. But uh, for this, you take this and boom. That's how you successfully upgrade it. And uh, I couldn't find this on anybody else's tutorial because uh, here, let me show you. Now that I've upgraded it, it has the augmentation there. But anyway, everyone, uh, thank you for watching. I did this because I had a really hard f time finding out how to do this myself. But anyway, everyone.